Hello, Jennifer Campbell here, your online systemic leadership mentor. I would like to introduce to you a new video series called Systems Wisdom. You will benefit from this video series if you want to leverage a systems thinking view to your organization, your team, or your community. And if you are, or if you want to be a systems practitioner. Now this video series is suitable for all. So whether you are a beginner, or if you are a seasoned systems thinker, or if you are actively applying systems thinking based approaches, or even if you do systemic work. Now in this video, I briefly want to explain what you can expect from this video series. Now, systems thinking came out of science-based principles, mostly from logic, computing, and technology, but it has led to so many different places. It has showed us that we can't command and control our organizations because they are governed by deeply human, very mysterious forces. However, while we can't control systems, you can design and redesign them and we can figure them out and we can dance with them in the same way that we can respond to music with our bodies naturally and viscerally, we can respond to the demands and challenges of our living human systems. Now, to be a great systemic leader, we need much more than calculations and spreadsheets. We need to, our, we need our full humanity. And besides rationality, we also need intuition, compassion, vision, and ethics. Now, in this video series, we're gonna go over various aspects of systems wisdom that you can use to really penetrate into the heart of, system, of your systems to change them, and who knows, maybe they'll even change you and your life. These things can also, you can keep to mind as you begin to see that a system is a living, breathing organism. Now, these aspects we'll be looking into are based on the book Thinking in Systems by Donella Meadows, who was a very inspiring leader, a writer, um, a teacher, and above all, a very strong systems thinker. Now, what we'll cover is not an end-all, be-all way of systems thinking, and we all remain students in that sense. But um, there's a lot of stuff that we can start to dance to and start to search for when it comes to systems thinking. So if this sounds like something you're curious about and want to learn more about the systems wisdom video series, then feel free to tune in and subscribe to my YouTube channel. What you can also do if you wish to interact with others, apply what you hear in the video series, then you can also become a member of the Systemic Leadership and Change Network. The URL for that is www.systemicleadershipnetwork.com. You'll find an ever-growing, strong community of systems practitioners. It's a movement in the making for more systemic, holistic, and human-centered approaches to leadership, change, and transformation in our organizations, communities, and on our planet. You'll meet leaders, systems thinkers, coaches, consultants, community builders, and many other professionals who really support this mission and who enjoy our systemic summits, our live events, all my video series, and many resources from other thought leaders. And there's also an ongoing dialogue about systemic practice and so much more right in our online platform. So if you're interested in becoming a member, go to systemicleadershipnetwork.com. I really look forward to welcoming you there. For now, please remember our company motto. Let's build strong living human systems one system at a time. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.